Hello and welcome to Pop Along RC. In today's video, we are gonna be running through the basics for those newbie racers out there. talking about RC car racing and a little bit of advice for newbies getting into the hobby. Now, the first thing to remember is it's supposed to be fun. Keep it fun. Yeah, it is. And at the point it doesn't become fun, you might not want to do it anymore. So just remember why you're doing it, you know, it's meant to be fun. It is. Mm. Now, we have been on, on the old rostrum many a time mm. and the old red mist has descended on oh. many, many... <laughs> Many a racer. The red mist, Carl. What do we do about the red mist? You know, someone comes along, takes you out. What do you do? You don't shout <laughs> at the marshals. Yeah. Because you know what? The next race, you're going to be that marshal. So, you've got to be a good marshal, haven't you? Got to be a good marshal. Got to be a good yeah. marshal, but please don't shout at the marshals. They're there having fun just like you. Exactly. Another good thing to do uh, if you're just getting into a, a, the realms of RC car racing is find your local club. It will be a hub of knowledge. And each club has got their own resident RC guru. Oh yeah. They have. Yeah, yeah. Well, They're normally called something like uh, Dave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Frank. <laughs> Dave or Frank. Dave or yeah. Frank. And you've got to find yeah. them and you've got to ask them every single question you can imagine because they will have the answer because they are RC gurus. They are, yeah. Every club has got one. They've all got one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the next thing is uh, an obvious one, really. Car setup. Now, mm. we've got to keep this simple. We get asked lots of questions about car setup, but 75% of your car's ability to get around the track relies on just one thing. Yeah. Tires. It is tires. <laughs> it's simply yeah. tires, isn't it? Grip, basically. Yeah. If you can grip that track and get the right set of tires on the car, you're halfway there. Well, 75% of the way there. Absolutely to be right. Presence. And, and who do we ask about tires when we get to the club car? The local guru. The local guru, <laughs> yeah. You've got your car and it now sticks to the track like glue because of those amazing tyres that you've been advised by your local guru <laughs> to get. But your hands need to communicate with that car and you need to get your radio gear in good trim. You certainly do. And that is the first step. The next step you need to do, because some cars might be a little bit twitchy when they're going at speed, is you need to start adjusting the settings if you are lucky enough to have a slightly more advanced set of radio gear. So yeah. what sort of settings might you think about on your transmitter? Right, so the first setting I would go for is your EPA, which is your end point adjust. And what that will do is that will make sure your tires don't go too far in that direction. Thus, uh, inhibiting or straining the servo. So what's the next thing on the list then? So the next thing, once you've got your car going in a straight line, what I find is the most useful thing on my radio gear is Expo. Ah, yes, exponential, yeah. What is exponential? Well, if you are driving down the track at super fast speed in a straight line and you turn the steering a little bit, you want the car not to twitch too much. So what you can do is dial down the steering mm -hmm. so that in a straight line, it makes very small movements, but once you get to the turn and you turn it, it really does cut into the turn. Absolutely. And there's lots of graphs and there's lots of information about Expo out there. Yeah, it makes it less twitchy. So the next thing uh, I would suggest, if you've got some money to spend, is invest in some good radio, because if you get a good radio, it's got more features in it like we've discussed, and your car will be so much more easy to drive. And you know, it's not gonna to be too difficult with us keeping you in the hobby a lot longer, having fun. Definitely. <laughs> now, talking about having fun, we all want to be a winner and we all want to get around that track as fast as possible. But the first bit of advice I give most of the newbies at our local club is slow is fast. If you can crawl around that track nice and slowly without crashing, it's quicker than waiting for marshals to pick you up off of your roof. So therefore, don't overpower your car, don't drive too fast, know your limits, get round clean, 
and stay out of trouble. Absolutely. Speaking of slow cars though, boss, mm. they do get in our way, don't they? Ah, yeah, that's another thing. So sometimes you might have somebody quicker than you uh, behind you. Best thing to do, let them through. Two reasons for that. One, because it's a nice thing to do. And some clubs will actually, you'll have to do that, right, if somebody's a faster driver. And secondly, you're better off, because once they're out of the way, they're not gonna hit you, you're not gonna hit them, you can have a good race. There we go. Mm. And that comes on to race etiquette, doesn't it? Yep. So if you do take somebody out, it is good race etiquette to stop and wait for them to get put back on their wheels before carrying on with your race, especially if the two of you are racing for position at the time. Absolutely, yeah. So the next thing is, is don't get too uh, gung-ho about bling, blinging your car up, because more often than not, it is what it is, bling. Yeah, Don't serve any purpose just to look nice. You're probably better off keeping the plastic bits and pieces you've got on there, because plastic tends to flex, whereas metal tends to bend. And if it bends halfway through a race, your car ain't gonna handle so well. Racing is about you and your car on the track. But at the end of the night, you're all there together and it's important that you help out and lend a hand. Absolutely. Most of these clubs run not for profit. It's normally people who have done a, a hard day's work and then, you know, they love racing. So they, they normally set the club up, don't they? And they get there before the racers do and they set the computer up, the time and stuff, and they put all the carpets out, pitching where you can help out where you can it's, it's a team effort yeah, yeah so if you don't know how to roll a carpet like you i can roll a carpet <laughs> if yeah. you can't roll a carpet you might want to pick up the gaffer tape off the carpet and put the old tubes away exactly just do something stick around till the end if you can and help out pack away the tables and chairs in the pits um, do what you can to help out absolutely but i'm gonna have to come back to the beginning most importantly, guys, have fun. If you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. Exactly. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that uh, video and it's been informative. We do try and help, don't we? We try, we, we try. try and help, yeah. Correct. But if you see us in the pits and, and you've got any questions, do come over and ask. We're, we're always happy to help. Yeah.